In this two-part overview series, we'll show you the highlights of report packages. In part one, we'll describe what report packages are, why use them, and how they're developed. In part two, we'll describe how to create a report package structure, the basis of a report package, and further explore the benefits of each development phase. You set up a report package in the web application by using a wizard and specify the following properties. Type. If the report is Word, PowerPoint, or PDF based. For Word or PowerPoint, upload the style sample file that defines the standard document settings to apply to Doclets to ensure a consistent look and feel. In Word, these would include page layout settings such as page size, margins, orientation, and styles. In PowerPoint, these would include slide masters and layouts. In PDF, specify headers, footers, and margin size. Next, Specify the library directory to store the report package, and then specify the development phases to use, their start and end dates, how many review cycles to have in each phase, the docklets to develop, and the contributing users. Then build the outline and populate the report package with content by creating and organizing three types of docklets. Regular docklets contain the actual content to use in the report, with files corresponding to the report package type. For example, you would use doc files in a Word-based report package. Reference Doclets house common report content that authors can embed in their doclets. These could be tables, charts, and graphs from Excel files or management reports. When a reference doclet is updated, all areas of the report where the doclet is embedded are dynamically refreshed. Supplemental Doclets house additional information, such as procedures, instructions, and reference materials that you can leverage in report development. This content isn't included in the merge report, but you can download the Doclets for use with native programs. Then use sections to group Doclets by content or viewership. Alternatively, you can build your report package structure in SmartView for Office, where you can quickly add, arrange, and update Doclets and sections using your day-to-day -day tools, reports, and files. Once the structure is defined, you can further configure the report package in the web application. Now let's explore the benefits of the author review and sign-off phases. Although all three are typically used to develop report packages, you can select the phases best suited for your reports. Report package owners initiate and close each phase and can use process reporting to identify the remaining tasks and overall status. An author phase is ideal for collaborative content development because you can assign multiple users and groups to Doclets as authors and approvers given their responsibilities, coordinate their activities, and manage their content. Authors add content and then submit their Doclets to the assigned approvers. Approvers can review, take ownership to modify content, approve and reject Doclets. If rejected, Doclets return to the author for updates. The author phase provides these benefits. Flexible, collaborative, and proactive workflow. Many users can contribute to content. And to reduce bottlenecks for rapid development, top-level users can take ownership of Doclets. Content management. Check-in and check-out ensures that only one user at a time can update a Doclet, removing the risk of content being overwritten. Version control ensures that each version is stored, so you'll always have a reference point. Detailed audit ensures that you can track all user activity, and process reporting helps you identify Doclets that are behind schedule or that have been rejected. In the review phase, users can use notes and discussion threads to jointly evaluate and vet their assigned content and request changes. Owners and authors respond to these comments as appropriate. Reviewers can confirm that these changes are being made in future review cycles. The review phase provides these benefits. Stakeholders can review updated drafts in multiple review cycles. For example, managers can review a first draft, executives the second, and top-level management the third. Review comments persist across review cycles, enabling you to see how comments are addressed, and process reporting helps you monitor how comments are addressed and identify outstanding reviews. In the sign-off phase, you gather final approval from key stakeholders, after which the report is locked and can be published and distributed. If a report is rejected, 
the owner can reopen it so updates can be made and the content resubmitted. Process reporting enables owners to identify the number of sign-offs and rejections and get an overall status given the due date. In this overview, we showed you the highlights of report packages. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.